Good morning. It is July 31st, last day of July, and this is what the garden looks like as of today. Got some really, really tall sunflowers starting to form their flowers. So sunflower plants, I should say. Our um, summer squash over here have become quite big. We've produced, they have produced a lot. Our little tomato plants that were dying that I put in the raised bed with the carrots are doing quite well. The kale's doing well. Cucumbers, I mean they've given us a lot, have blessed us with a lot, but there's only three plants left. Um, the cucumber beetles have definitely taken their toll on them. The beans are finally all the way up over the trellis. Um, looks pretty cool. The next trellis is cantaloupe. They're actually climbing, but they've had to start over a few times, so they're a little bit slow. The flowers are, have come up in between like I planned. Um, we got sweet peas, or the sugar snap peas. The next trellis over, we should have planted a lot more. So these two trellises are pretty underwhelming, but they definitely have blessed us with a lot of food already. And then our tomato area, and right in front of that is the peppers. And the tomatoes are starting to turn red. I picked a few yesterday, or black in the situation with the black crumbs. Um, right here we have some sweet potatoes. We've already dug up all our regular potatoes. Onions are ready to come up. I've dug it, or pulled a few, but that's... Um, one of those things that I just need to get to, and as long as they're in the ground, they're fine, I think. <laughs> it's the first time doing doing onions. These are my little bushes I planted. They were just little plants. Um, supposed to attract hummingbirds and butterflies, and that they have done. So our water, our, our pumpkin plant right here. And if you look right down there, there's a and a pumpkin. There's another one up there, but you can't see it. At the base, it looks a little not so good, but that's where the bugs have been attacking. This is a buttercup. Do you see there's a buttercup hanging right there, I think? Yeah. And some more forming, so hopefully get a bunch of buttercup squash. That's another buttercup. We've got some nice sized buttercups over here. Watermelon, a bunch of little baby watermelons. Um, all along. Another one in there. And then this is the delicata. Working its way out of the garden. I'm just going to let him do what he wants to do. Um, there's one good sized delicata in there. And then some little ones. But again, we've dealt with the squash bugs on all of these. We've uh, got a really, really nice, kind of blended in, but a huge buttercup like right there. And then there's a few more in there. Picked a bunch of string beans last night. These are our string bean plants. We'll have a bunch more to pick. I think I'm going to go ahead and freeze those. Some, a different type of um, sugar snap peas here. They're more of the like curly ones. And then we've got a bunch of cabbage. And some of those are actually really close to picking. And I lost a doggy. Jamin! But here's our view from this end. Let's see if this, like that guy right there is very close to picking. And that one too. Really nice size. Ooh, that one too. Really nice sized heads. I've been watering these guys a lot the last few days. This is our zucchini plant that just started producing. He had a really rough start, but is doing well. Ooh, I 
see some summer squash over there that needs to be picked. That's also a zucchini. This guy here is spaghetti squash. We got a nice one right down in there. And then this is the other end of the tomatoes. And the back side. Where did my black doggy go? Oh, there she is. She's my wanderer, so I have to watch her. And so these are the pear tomatoes. <laughs> oh my goodness, I didn't realize how far they had branched out here. So anything that branches out on this side is technically my neighbor Ron's. <laughs> he jokes about how he's going to drive by on his motor and or mower and, and pick tomatoes. Um, I think that's our cherry tomato branching out there. It looks like we've got some cherries about ready to pick. These are the black crumbs. And these are our peppers. And they're finally bushing out, but not much as far as uh, very big peppers on them yet. So just have to keep an eye on them. I've been trying to water them a lot more too because it's been so dry. This kind of looks like a weed patch, but it's sweet potatoes and I pretty much just um, wherever the regular potatoes didn't come up I put in sweet potatoes but we need to till this up and put something in for a fall crop something that's got somewhat of a short growing period not sure yet we might even just put more potatoes in because they've been absolutely delicious and then we're right back where we started Go do a closer up of that's where we throw all our weeds right now and it's probably not a good idea because it probably attracts bugs but that's what we did this year um here's the tomatoes <laughs> that guy i need to put something in there because he's falling over our carrots and our kale and some weeds because I haven't messed with this a lot. It's been pretty much self, self-sufficient, I guess. We water it, and that's about the extent of it. Um, I do need to tie this guy up because he's really reaching for the ground here. But there's actually tomatoes in there too. So besides the thousands we have over there, looks like we're gonna get more here. I definitely have my work cut out for me over this next month, six weeks, um, let the salsa making begin.